is on the Hey, beautiful for the world. It's me, your girl Nisha. And we have Mike. Michael. So I told you all last. Well, I've been recording videos because I'm going to edit them and upload them. And I said most of the videos you will not see until the middle of January, the end of January. The only video I posted That's up was. Um, the only video I posted up was how I conceived, and I did it on New Year. It's in the middle of January, so it's like. Yeah, so it'll be like the, the 18th. 20th. This is the middle, right here. The, the, the 20th is the middle, that's the date. Well, um, the, begin this oh, the beginning of the 18th. middle. 18th. This is the beginning of the middle. The 18th to the end of January, um, y'all will get the action video of me taking a test that would be at the end of january but this so video basically, you were not, basically no gender on the um we were no gender and i'm 10 weeks but i uh, that's when i can find out uh -huh. but a gender reveal won't happen until april 10th it's like two days before next birthday you're already gonna know no we're not gonna know you go see jesus now no i'm a when the doctor asks if I want to know, I'm going to tell her, no, just put it on the thing and put it in an envelope and give it to me. And I will give it to, t t not you, because you don't know how to keep a secret. I don't want to keep a secret. Either Tan or Mimi. I don't I don't want to keep a secret. And um, that's not what this video is about. You, we all topic. The okay. point of this video is to sit down and talk to you, my firstborn child. To see how you feel mm -hmm. about me mm -hmm. having another child. Because when the child born, you may be 14, you may be 15. But it doesn't matter. How does, um, you know how my do age? You, I'm going to be 15. That means the, the baby will be born on your birthday. No, 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 no. I have a feeling it will be. I don't want to share a birthday. <laughs> I'm going to be but, mad if I have to share a birthday. But at the same time, the baby will get more stuck than me. It's not about me. It's called the Mike Show. Well, okay. that's how I felt when you came August 30th. <laughs> Your birthday is like days before mine. Like, it doesn't many? matter though. I can't really do nothing for my birthday if I, I wanted to. Two, three days, three days before mine. I know that. So I'm asking you, how do you feel? Like, I want <laughs> your authentic opinion. I don't want you to hold anything back from me. You're not going to hurt my feelings or anything. Because I feel like parents don't sit down and ask their child how they feel about bringing a sibling into a family. Even though, I mean, some parents do have a child a it's gonna year. Be, it's going to be stressful. It's going to be stressful. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I got to teach you some stuff. Then if you busy, then you got to help out with his homework. And then I got to teach you some sight words. I got, I got, there's a lot of what I do. Teach you how to talk proper English. Not the issue, but I'm asking you, how do you feel? It's it's kind of weird, cause then I I don't know. But then I then I do the same thing with the whole thing with Jay skin. Yeah, it's it's pretty weird. It's weird that I'm having a baby. Yes, it's it's weird, cause I've been the only child my whole entire life. What? <laughs> and now when I'm about to hit age fifteen, they just say, you know what? Let me just do this. Check mark. My baby come here. I'm like, you can only do this like when I was like twelve and this. I was I would have seen. Okay, yeah, at twelve years I could have seen like a whole different story. So back then, at twelve, I wanted a brother from you. No, you did. Now, at age fifteen, no, like, yes, but no, cause then I can you know put some style on it. I can put some style on the brother or sister, cause I cause sometimes I dress you, and sometimes you like the outfit. Like, like, no, sometimes, like, sometimes, like, like the top, like, the like the shirt, but you don't yeah. have the pants to go with it. Yeah, I could be dressing my brother or sister up. And, you know, pretty sure you won't be spoiling this baby. I'm not, I didn't spoil you. So, you know I'm not gonna spoil this baby. It was, it was my, it was my other folks that spoiled yeah. me. So, maybe this baby, other people spoil them since it's their first grandchild. I don't want them to know. Those, those, um, those, my dad, folks, first grandchild. Yeah, you were their first grandchild. They, they spoiled me to death. They still do. Right. 
even with my landers, they still spoil me. Because I was the first grandchild. I'm going to be the first one. Always. But, um, yeah. I feel weird about this. But then, like, cause what, if it come, what if it come to me about advice and I don't know how to give them? I know I give good advice, but I don't want to come off too wrong. But that's what siblings are there for. You're supposed to tell the truth. You don't supposed to sugarcoat it. Do you think I should coat stuff with my sister? Yeah. No, I don't. I tell her how it is. Like she tell me how it is. You should things me. Wait, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. It sounds like it. To it doesn't because my people be telling me that how I come out. So it's a better way to say because how it you come do. out. It do like it sounds be... rude. This not sugarcoat. Yes, yes, it do. Like you say. Go clean your room up. Just like that. And Tom saying, Mom, you got to say like that with aggression. I don't say that. I don't like Michael. Go clean your room. Or, Mike, what's wrong with this picture? You might my own up there. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Eh, some, some days we have your moments. We just add a little bit of aggression to it. But yeah, um, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. It could it could be worth it. Yeah, if there's no turning back. Because I could drive it, I can drive it to school. I'm to school. And pick them up from school. Yeah, if I want to pick them up. Yeah, just think about it. If you, they want to get out of school early and they're not going to call me and Nick, guess who they're going to call? <laughs> me. Like, hey, Mike, come pick me up. I don't feel good. Knowing they lying, you still going to get Because I used to do the same thing. I used to do the same thing with school. Like, some days I used to say, you know, I want to be my head hurt. I'm just saying, I don't feel good. It works, and what I do, I end up coming home, laying down, falling asleep. But I go to school tomorrow, guys. No. Your yeah, school stop at tomorrow I'm for them. Not ready. Go but back to school. Um, more likely, you probably won't be in school tomorrow since I want you to come. You know, you won't physically be able to come inside the stop off with me. You'll be outside. I do want you to sleep yeah. too. I know. Yeah. So I'm gonna Facetime you. But I'm gonna be at home. I'll be at home. I'm gonna fall asleep. Then I'm gonna miss class. So I'll rather be with Nick. Yeah. yeah. So we have to wake up early because my appointment's at 9 o'clock in the morning. What time do we end? Whenever they get to an old sign, it shouldn't take long. So my, my school started. Uh, what the my school started to end. I mean, nah. I don't know what time to start. All right, beautiful people. So I had this conversation with Michael about how he feels about me being pregnant and him being a big brother in seven months so um the video is real short because i did cut a lot of stuff out of the video um and i forgot to mention that today is january 3rd tomorrow is january 4th so just want to throw it in there and i will see you all later beautiful people will do susan smooches bye